Hey friends, Gator Mom here. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I have a Jujube review to share with you. I have here the Mini Helix packed up two different ways. All right, so I have posted recently a lot of pictures over here of this Mini Helix in the black olive print. Since it was a recent release here by Jujube and a ton of you have messaged me and wanted to see a review on the Mini Helix since it is a bag that I have not yet shared here on my channel. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you a packing video on this particular style bag packed up two different ways since I got a request on it packed up as a crossbody bag kind of just for a typical day out for mom and then a packing video on it packed up for a toddler or young child as an activity bag. Those seem to be the two most requested ways to pack it up, so that's what I have here. This print here came out a few months back. Actually, I think it was almost a year ago now. I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on that, but this was a while back. This is the super cute Sushi Cars print um, in the Tokidoki collaboration with Jujube, and my son actually really likes this one, although lately he's been taking this black olive from me recently, which is kind of funny because um, this is like more um, his style. But um, anyways, this one I have packed up as a activity bag for him. This one I have packed up for me um, as just a regular quick trip out, kind of like a purse, um, I guess you could say, and then activity bag for him. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I have those packed up. This bag holds actually a lot. I would say it holds comparable to maybe like a Jujube large set piece, or it holds about the same amount of stuff or the same type of stuff that I would put in inside one of those if I was just carrying like a crossbody like quick trip bag out to the store or something like that. I love the way that this packs up as far as um, organization. The only thing I will say though, I'll touch on really quick, um, if you are going to be carrying this for yourself crossbody out and about, the strap that it does come with is a bit short. I'm like five foot nothing, I'm super short. It fits me perfectly. Um, the bag falls right kind of on my hip bone when I wear it crossbody, so it's great for me. I don't have to um, wear a longer strap or anything like that. I wear it on the longest setting of the strap and it's great for me. But those of you that are taller may want to look into getting like a custom strap or attaching a different strap um, if you want to wear it crossbody um, just because it may be too short for you, this particular strap. Um, as far as kids go, I have it on the shortest setting for my youngest. He's um, four and he wears it crossbody on the shortest setting and it's perfect. So um, for kids, I don't think you'll have any issue with the crossbody strap. For an adult though, um, like I said, I'm pretty short and it works great for me. But if you are taller wearing it crossbody, you might um, have trouble with it. But over the shoulder, you'll be perfectly fine. So just kind of something to note there um, if you wanted to get, you know, like a fun colored strap or something. Um, you could do that definitely as well. Um, they are detachable here on the side. It's just like a little D-ring here and you could take it on and off and easily put on another strap there anyway. So you would be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one out of the way. I'll start with my um, son's uh, sushi cars here. This is just packed up as a fun little activity bag. It would be like running into like out to eat or like a fun, like an activity bag if we were going out. Um, I just have the regular strap that it comes with um, attached to the bag on the shortest settings. On the back here of the bag, you have one kind of slit pocket. I just have a pen and a little notebook um, back here in the back. He's kind of at that stage. He's so funny. He's like four going on. I don't know, 21, he's hysterical, but he's always doing his quote homework and he's going to work and he's going to his office and he's he's so funny. But I just have a little notebook here that he will take out and write his notes and his homework and all that fun stuff. So that's back there in the back of his little bag there. And then in the front here, I don't have much in this little pocket. It actually holds a lot more than you would think in this little zipper pocket. You could put um, those little um, individual travel wet ones. I actually think I might have some over in my bag. I'll show you in a second. Um, or you could put little snacks or whatever in this little part here. I actually have some wiki sticks. Um, they are, these particular ones I got in the Target dollar spot, so they're not the actual wiki stick brand, but they're basically the same thing. These are individually wrapped. Whenever we take these out and use them, I will probably put them inside a GGB coin purse because they work really, really well inside there. Um, but these are just those um, individual 
kind of um, sticks that you can play with and mold things and make things with. I have four different colors in here and there's tons of different sticks in each pack, but my boys love these. Even my daughter really likes these. They play with them all the time when we're waiting for our food. So I have like black and orange and red and green in here and they fit really good kind of down in there. A coin purse fits really good inside this pocket. So we'll probably just end up playing with them and then putting the coin purse down there in the front. So that's what I have in there. In this back pocket here, um, I actually just have a little game. We got this, I wanna say it actually came in a Happy Meal or something, but it's one of those little um, handheld games that you can like make the little maze go around, but it fits really good in that front pocket there. Um, but like I said, I think I got it like in a Happy Meal, but it just fits really good in that front pocket and the boys like to play with it. Then back here in the main um, part of the bag, I just have a bunch of kind of arts and crafts and handheld toys. This varies. He packs up this part of the bag like all the time, but usually without fail, there is some type of PJ mask or Paw Patrol. It's usually all three of the PJ mask if we're being honest, cause like that's usually what we're into these days. But right now we have Romeo in here and we have um, Catboy. What else do we have in here? He had these in here yesterday. Oh, we have another Catboy. So yeah, like I said, it's usually PJ Masks and Paw Patrol and all four of these, these are like the full size toys and they fit in there and I could probably, I could have probably fit two more cars in there. So this little bag like holds a ton um, and they're great for them to just kind of pack up their toys and um, go about their day in there. So um, this little back kind of mesh pocket, I don't have anything inside there. You could easily fit like crayons back there or if you wanted to put like a, um, notebook or whatnot back there to keep it separate from the bag. You could do that. I thought it was easier to put some um, crayons and arts and crafts type things inside this small set piece just because we could pull it out and play with it that way instead of rooting around inside the bag. But if you wanted to just put it right inside um, the bag, you could do it that way too. But that's what I have inside um, this little small set piece. I have a folded up um, Play Pack coloring book. This is just folded in half. This is one that we've actually started coloring in that has some pages left in it. Um, so that's just a, um, a Play Pack coloring book. And then I also have a bunch of stickers folded up in there, a um, couple different packs. And then I also have in here some stamps and then a couple of different of um, twistable crayons um, inside there. So there's just like six or seven different colors inside this small set piece. So just makes it easy to pull out and um, play with like at restaurants um, if you have it inside that small set piece. So that's everything inside my son's uh, mini helix. Now onto the black olive mini helix, which I love. This is actually one of the first prints on the mini helix that I loved. Um, I think it looks really, really cute crossbody. I do like the um, the watercolor ones that came out. Those were super cute, but I didn't get my hands on any of those, but I think this one is really cute also. So um, this is the first time I've ever packed up one of these for myself. And surprisingly, I enjoyed the way that it packed. I thought that it organized everything really well as opposed to just throwing it all into a large set or a large set piece. But um, this is just kind of an alternative way to have a crossbody bag to just jump in and out of the car. I've been carrying around my Be Sporty a lot when the kids are off at school and this fits really well in the front pocket of the Be Sporty. So I'll have all of my stuff inside there, like my computer, my books, my planner, all of that. And I'll just put this inside that front pocket and I'll just pull it out, run inside the store, whatever I'm doing, and then put it right back in there. So it just makes things really easy. So like I said earlier, I have attached here the um, strap pretty much on the longest setting. It works really good for me because I'm super short. And then I have my car keys attached over here um, as well. They're just hooked on to the side of the, um, the strap there. On the back, I always keep my um, iPhone here. It just slips really easy inside the back of the pocket there. If I have it in my pocket, um, I just don't have anything in that back um, pocket there. In the front here of this zipper pocket, I typically will just have whatever cash I have, which is usually none. I have like six bucks here, but I usually don't have anything in there. Um, then I just have a couple of sticks of gum in this mesh pocket. 
And then I also just have a Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer in there. Then in the very bottom, which I'll try to pull up so you guys can see, because <laughs> I'm not sure if you can, but the very, very bottom of that mesh pocket down there, um, I actually have a ton of quarters. Um, the reason I have those is because my um, oldest um, son and my daughter will have like a spirit day at school and they'll be able to buy um, like little things at the school shop and things like that. And I'll never have quarters and I just decided that I'll always carry them on me because I'll always forget. So just kind of one of those things that I carry on me just to make sure I have it. So the very, very bottom of that mesh pocket, I just have a bunch of quarters down there. So I always have them in case I need them. Then inside this pocket here behind there, I just have my Be Charged um, wallet. That's all that's in there. That's all I've been using these days for a wallet. It works awesome. And then like I said, I have cash in that front pocket should I need any. There's nothing else in there. Sometimes I'll have like a receipt. Um, you know, if I go somewhere and I'll throw a receipt in there. Back here in this main part of the bag, I have a, another small set piece just because I find it easier than grabbing all small things inside the bag. I'll just have a small set piece and then I have all of my little things in there. Like in here I have my chapstick, which I use a posh healer stick still to this day. It's like my favorite for everything. <laughs> and then I have a small hand cream. This is a body shop, um, kind of a citrus um, hand cream that I like. I have a nail file, some um, NYX lip butter. I also have down in here a little travel mascara and then some hair ties, just that kind of thing down in here. Um, it all fits really well inside that small set piece. Then I also have, which I normally actually keep inside that small set piece, but I must have gotten it out and used it, um, just a small little travel excedrin. This has Advil excedrin. Um, migraine medicine, that kind of thing. I just have that in there. And that's all I have in the large part um, of the bag. And then back here in this little pocket, I just have a pen. And then I also have a small notebook. This I got last year from Target. It's from the Magno Magnolia Home Collection. I had like a set of like three different um, pads of paper. And so I got that in there. So, um, but yeah, I just have that back here in the pocket. Oh, I also have um, a couple of wet ones or no, these are Kleenex, um, but the same kind of thing. They're just the individual um, wipes. I have those down in there. So um, they're just stuck in there with the notebook. So that's everything I have down in that big part. And that's everything I carry for me if I'm just popping in and out places. It works super well and I think it's a great little bag. So that's everything I have packed up inside both of these mini helixes. I hope it kind of gave you guys some inspiration on how you can pack up yours. I know these are kind of hard to find whenever Jujube releases them. They sell super fast, but there is a lot floating around on buy, sell, trade pages and eBay and places like that. And I know a lot of you have them and they've been super requested um, for packing videos. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I will talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome week.